Hey folks, my name is Mo Amir and this is Van Color, British Columbia's bona fide culture and politics TV talk show. Tonight, what does it mean to be woke? And how did the term woke become twisted into a political pejorative? Journalist and author of the memoir, Invisible Boy, Harrison Mooney will be here to explain, but first, are you stressed? I feel like anxiety is higher than normal these days. The cost of living, economic uncertainty, climate change, and you know, throw the holidays on top of everything else, and we're all dealing with a lot of stress in our own lives. So is there something we can do in those little moments when we're feeling overwhelmed? Well, our first guest has some ideas, a self-described wellness junkie and certified holistic nutritionist. You know her as one of BC's most bubbly media personalities. Currently, you can find her weekdays 2 to 7 p.m. on 1027 Now Radio in Vancouver. She is Danae Johnson. Danae, so nice to meet you in person. I'm stressed just like hearing all the list of things, Christmas coming up and (laughs) no, you're right. Anxiety is like at an all time high right now. Yeah. 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 So you are a certified breathwork facilitator. What exactly is breathwork and how can that maybe help some of the anxiety that all of us are feeling? at this moment. Yeah, yeah, I feel like breathwork has started to, you know, kind of get a little bit more buzz the last year or so in mm-hmm. the mainstream. And I think pff, it goes to what you were talking about. So many of us are stressed yeah. and we're being forced to kind of look to other things to to help with this. And so breathwork in a nutshell is really just like consciously bringing attention to our breath. Okay. And controlling our breath in certain patterns or techniques. And we do this because we found that it it really greatly can impact and improve our health in, in numerous ways, mentally, emotionally, and physically. So I've just been breathing all the time without <laughs> these benefits, yes. and all it's been doing is keeping me alive? I mean, that that is a pretty decent thing, <laughs> but we can teach you a little something, something to, yeah, breathe in a way that can accelerate you know, how you're feeling and dealing with some of that stress that you're speaking of. Okay, let's say I'm super stressed and starstruck because I got to interview Danae Johnson. Oh my god! And I'm feeling nervous and I'm feeling anxious. Yeah. What kind of breath work should I be doing to help calm myself down and feel a little more normal? Yeah, I think one of the uh, easiest things that we can do, you know, one thing that breathwork does is it really helps us tune in to our nervous system. Okay. And that's kind of another buzzword that we've been hearing a lot more recently. Um, And these are real things. These are real (laughs) things. Yeah, these are not just fun little fluffy words. These are these are real things that are really connected to to a big part of who we are and how we feel on a daily basis. And so. Um, I mean, I can geek out and get so sciencey on this if you want me to, but uh, one really easy thing that we can do is just by slowing down our breath okay. um, and connecting more to breathing from our diaphragm as okay. opposed to breathing from our chest. See, I've been breathing from my throat the whole time. See, is, there you is go. Is that the worst? It's probably the worst. It's <laughs> probably not the best, which is super, super common and and normal though, because yeah. most of us, you know, day to day now, we're working three jobs just to get by here in Vancouver. And so we're all like in this like hustle mode. Yeah. And even if you, you know, think of your day to day life when you're, you know, rushing from one job to the next, you've got to pick up the kids, make dinner, all the things like you're kind of like, you know, yeah. breathing up here, right? Yeah. And so one of the easiest, uh, cheapest things that we can do to communicate to our body that we're safe is to slow down our breath and to breathe from the gut. And actually, it was funny when I was in nutrition school, they said, you know, um, so many people, uh, I remember one of our, our teachers, she was a naturopath here in Vancouver, and she said, people come to me for IBS all the time. And so often we just teach them to breathe and slow down before they eat. Oh. And that can eliminate so many digestive issues. Okay. Because if you're in that like go, go, go mode, you're running out the door in the morning to get the kids to school and you're eating the bagel on the way, your body has a really hard time digesting its food when it's in that state. Right. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to be your guinea pig. Let's say... (laughs) Day-to-day stresses, you know, we're not talking about deep traumas or anything, but just day-to-day, we're busy, we've got so much going on. What kind of breathing exercise can I do Mm -hmm. to help calm myself down? Yeah, uh, one style of breathwork that I do every night, it's going to be a game changer for your sleep, Okay, uh, is called box breathing. Box breathing. Box breathing, super easy. And basically what we're doing is uh, we're doing everything in increments of a count of four. Okay. So So I'm going to try this. You're going to do it with me? me Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so uh, focusing on, you know, kind of breathing from 
the diaphragm. Okay. Um, you're going to breathe through your nose and you're breathing in for a count of four. So hold at the top for four. One, two, three, four. Release for four. Out your nose. One, two, three. Hold at the bottom for four. And repeat. In for four. Hold at the top for four. Out for four. And hold at the bottom for four. So you continue to do that. I'm not starstruck anymore. Right? You've chilled out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. This is incredible. So yeah. I used to be a big yogi, and I actually found breath work was very helpful in terms of the physical movements. Like you mm. would find it would be easier to do the practice if you got the breath in the right rhythm. Right. But I've never done it just solitary or like during my day. So oh, man. this might be a game changer. It for is me. such a game changer. Not only can it help with, you know, anxiety, stress, depression, but like it truly impacts your overall like physical health because if you're stressed all the time your body's resources and its energy is then always going to try to like you know keep you running and keep you going right that's what our body is designed to do if you're in that fight or flight state yeah um which then makes it really hard for your immune system to be functioning properly um so by just like slowing down your body is able to then use its its energy to actually help and repair your body. I think we need to normalize this more. So if you see yeah. someone on transit and they're doing some breath work, not thinking it's weird or, you know, there's something going on with that person, but they just need a little reset, right? Is it not normal? Because I'm on the sky train like, oh. people that you're telling me people think I'm a weirdo. So I'm not saying on? that. I'm just saying it should be normal. It should not be judged. Oh, I yeah. feel like it can go a long way. A million percent. Like I said, I could go on on this topic forever of just all the benefits to your health that it can really have. Now, really quickly, breath work, is it tied to meditation usually or do you not have to meditate, but you can still do the breath work? Well, I feel like there's so many different kinds of breath work. So I think essentially anytime you're, I don't know, this is just my thought. Anytime you're meditating, you kind of are focusing on your breath. Right. You know? But if you're doing breath work, you're not necessarily meditating. I feel like, I mean, it puts you into a meditative state, but I guess not because there are certain types of breath work where you don't necessarily feel meditative. Right. So right. I've never thought of it from that way. You got my mind working in different ways here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to do box training throughout my day and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. Thank you so much for this. Yeah, of course. Folks, we'll be recording some overtime with Danae to discuss dating in a post lockdown world. So find This Is Van Color wherever you listen to your podcasts for our full chat, which will drop in a few days. In the meantime, find her weekdays from 2 to 7 p.m. on Now Radio in Vancouver. That's 1027 FM or find Now Radio online to listen from wherever you may be. She is, of course, Danae Johnson. Now, after some business, what is woke? You may have heard politicians and pundits using it as a pejorative, but where does the word come from? And what's its intended meaning? We're gonna talk about it up next. I'm Mo Amir, this is Van Color.